U.S. stocks, they're down about 1% this afternoon right here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with the S&P 500 falling below its 200-day moving average. This has investors continue to await any developments out of the Greek debt crisis. And on the U.S. economic front, we had May international trade numbers. They showed that the U.S. trade deficit continued to widen fueled by a drop in exports. At the same time, jolts of jobs openings data coming in slightly higher for May than previously expected, and the U.S. Treasury scheduled to hold a three-year note auction later on this afternoon. Speaking of the Treasury, the U.S. dollar strong this afternoon against most of its major counterparts, except for the Japanese yen. We first take a look at the Euro-U.S. dollar pair, 0.83% lower at a rate of 109.64. Moving on, the British pound U.S. dollar market, 1.09% lower at a rate of 154.35, while the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair, 0.38% lower at a rate of 122.09 yen. Trading Central analysts this afternoon continue to remain focused on the Australian dollar US dollar pair as the pair has broken below its year low. The bearish momentum is strong and the 50 hour moving average maintains a bearish bias and the pair has reached its first target at 0.74. Short positions below 0.7460 are favored with targets at 0.7350 and 0.7290 in extension. Moving on to precious metals, they continue to collapse. We first take a look at gold again in focus this afternoon for investors as gold has indeed turned down after the downside breakout of the 1163 support and strongly accelerated on the downside. Short positions below 1163 are favored with targets at 1143.20 and 1134.60 in extension. And we conclude with silver right now a little more than 4.5% lower at a rate of $15.03 a troy ounce. And don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter for all of your Forex market updates. And for Trading Central Web TV from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange on this a Tuesday afternoon, I'm James Swinney.